hello everyone welcome back to our channel we are back with another video before we start this video i would like to thank you all for subscribing to our channel and we do apologize that we couldn't post any videos in past couple of months it was mainly due to the fact of uh, montreal dreaming in case you folks don't know smith and i are part of montreal dreaming which is a dreaming conference Dreaming conferences are a community uh, driven conferences that are happening throughout the world. So past couple of months, we were occupied organizing Montreal Dreaming and uh, with your uh, wishes, it was a great success. We are hoping to bring Montreal Dreaming back in 2025. So if you would like to support us, please go to our website and contact us. I'll provide the link in the video description below. So without further ado, let's get started with this video on a comparison between Musoft and Vocado. Let's get started. So in this video, we will be doing an iPad comparison between Musoft and Vocado. So before I start with this video, I would like to let you guys know that why are we making this video i was fortunate enough to work on both the platforms and i think uh, it is very important to understand uh, which audience does both the platforms cater which will help you or your enterprise to make an informed decision before buying any of these platforms again this is not a sponsored video these are just our thoughts that we would like to share with you folks So in this video, we will be doing a comparison based on the following factors. We will be starting with usability, which will include both the integration and development usability of a platform itself. Then we will be focusing on scalability, how fast you can scale any application in either of the platforms. After that, we will be covering a very important uh, topic, which is pricing, because uh, we need to understand that pricing does play a major factor in deciding an IPaaS for any enterprise. And last but not least, we will be discussing about the community and support. So let's start with our first comparison, which is usability. Before we start, we need to realize that one size fits none. And each enterprise has its own problems and needs to be curated or addressed accordingly. It might be the factor that some enterprises based on their use case will benefit by using Vocato more than Musoft or vice versa. So we need to understand that based on the business problems each enterprise has, we need to decide which IPaaS will be suited best for that particular enterprise. Talking about usability, usability generally refers to how easily and effectively user can interact with the product. So these are some points that we have jot down for Vocato and Musoft in terms of usability only. If you have used Vocato, you might know that Vocato is a low code environment. Its simple drag and drop functionalities helps you to build and automate processes rather quickly and effectively. Whereas with Musoft, you might require a more technical skill set. Vocato does have an intuitive interface and the learning curve is very low as compared to Musoft, which is more developer centric. One thing with Vocato is that it is only available on cloud, meaning when you're developing your application, you have to do it on Vocato cloud itself. Whereas in Musoft, you can build your APIs on cloud and on-prem using AnyPoint Studio. One very interesting thing with Vocato is its live chat feature. 
I have used this live chat feature personally and was blown away with the results. Vocato live chat feature provides you a direct connection to a support agent which will help you solve any problem you are facing either it can be technical or non-technical on the Vocato cloud itself. I haven't seen this type of feature in any other iPasses. I've used Musoft, I've used uh, Dell Boomi, I've used uh, Software AG web methods. This is a unique feature which I was very impressed by while using Vocato. Whereas in Musoft, as you know, we don't have any live chat feature. We can create a ticket and uh, an agent will be assigned to us, but that process can usually take 24 to 48 hours. So this was about usability. Now let's talk about scalability. Scalability refers to the ability of a system to handle an increasing amount of load by continuously increasing its resources. With Vercato, sadly, you don't have a provisioning of replicas, meaning within the application, you can't build replicas. There is no uh, set of properties you can configure to increase replica size of any application. Whereas in Musoft, as you know, you can create replicas using any point platform. A great feature of Musoft is that with Cloud Hub 2.0, you can use a rolling update feature, right? with no downtime whereas in Vocato there are no rolling updates meaning you have to shut down the application and then start the newer version of the application if you are doing any deployment. One of the main important features of MuSoft is that you can increase number of cores and computational power of each and single API. This is very important feature. Whereas with Vocato, they do have some threading which you can modify, but that is on the platform level. Meaning each recipe performance cannot be modified individually. For me, coming from a development background, I think it's a major drawback. But again, we need to understand the platform is provisioned for non-technical users and business analysts to build, develop automations. Whereas I believe MuSoft is more developer centric. So now let's discuss pricing model of each iPass. With Workato, Earlier, they were having a platform-based pricing model. But now, they are also moving to task-based pricing model. For example, in each recipe, if there are 20 tasks, they will be billing based on the task on each recipe, which I believe is similar to MuSoft pricing model, which is now flow-based pricing model. And the initial cost of Vocato, I would say is relatively low than MuSoft. Again, I have used both the platforms and I was involved during the pricing process of each um, iPass. And I consider Vocato pricing to be relatively low based on the features that it provides as compared to MuSoft. Now, last but not least, the community and support of uh, each iPass. What I felt with the documentation in Vocato, I felt that it was hard to use, learn and understand for non-technical user. I felt the documentation requires more improvement, whereas that is not the case with MuSoft. MuSoft provides exhaustive documentation 
and uh, to be honest i was very happy with the with the with the documentation that musaft has again another brilliant thing that musaft has is data we playground which helps you to do the testing of your code data we as you know is a programming language for musaft whereas in wakato it uses ruby and i would say the methods that wakato has for ruby are also very limited meaning if you are coming from a ruby background there are some limitations and you can't um, basically use all the functions that ruby has enlisted coming to the community engagement again i can't stress it enough musoft since it's part of salesforce has a huge ecosystem and a world class of community engagement they have musoft groups to help you with any issues that you have and I, and i think it's one of the best um, as far as i have seen um, with any i pass whereas wakato i would say the community engagement is relatively low i haven't even seen any um, community group in canada itself i know there are couple of community groups in uh, us and in india but other than that i'm not aware of any other community groups so if community and support is a major factor for your organization i would definitely uh, you know consider musoft over wakato so this was a theoretical comparison of wakato and musoft on paper thank you so much for listening to me and if you would like us to present a demo comparison we would be happy to do so please don't forget to comment down your thoughts below and we will be making sure that we handle that request for you thank you so much for subscribing to our channel if you haven't subscribed please make sure to do so and we will see you in the next one